Uh, this guy's a good friend of mine. He performs here a lot. He performs all over the fucking place a lot, actually. Give it up for Tom Nutty. What is going on? How are we feeling? Feeling good? Who's drinking tonight? Oh, I got a DUI. <laughs> like it so much, I got another one. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Tell you the story of my second DUI, right? Driving around, fine, I'm sober ish. <laughs> get pulled over, right? I get out. I do the whole dog and pony show on the side of the road, right? And I fail the whole dog and pony show <laughs> on the side of the road. I get put in handcuffs and I get put in the back of a cop car, right? Round of applause if you can drive a five-speed manual. Okay, cool. All right, so this cop, he was gonna be cool to me that night, okay? He's like, I'll park your car so that it doesn't get towed. And I'm like, thank you, sir, right? <laughs> He opens my car door. He sees one of those scary five-speed <laughs> manual transmissions. And I'm watching through the window of the cop car and he's just like Because <laughs> he's already committed to parking the car. Okay? So what does he do? He comes and gets me. I don't know if you're following or not, but I'm already arrested. Right? He unhandcuffs me. Oh my God. Allows me to drive again. <laughs> Park my car. Pulls me back out of my car. Puts me back in handcuffs. Puts me back in the back of his car. Gives me a little kiss on the forehead. And I still was not the most embarrassed man on the side of the road that night. <laughs> part about that DUI, right, is that that DUI came three hours after I told my wife I wanted a divorce. I don't know if you know how DUIs work in Pennsylvania, but when you collect them, after you get a few, you're just automatically on house arrest. And I don't know if you know how house arrest works, but you have to stay at your last registered address. So I got sentenced to 180 days with a woman that I just told that I wanted a divorce. I don't know if you've ever seen like a real angry cat and then like tried to fuck with it. But like it was so bad that after that 180 days was up, I went to court and the judge looked at me and was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, you guys are cool. I like you guys. Anybody here married? Woo! Fuck yeah. Like I just told you. <laughs> Spoiler alert though. I, 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 I am back with the woman that I married and divorced. Okay. It's not all bad. Because right? I saved like $1,600 a month by switching back to I love you. That's the laughter of people that have paid child support. I appreciate it. It's not all bad though. Like she's not really the problem. It's her family. You don't know her family. Like we do a lot of shit as a family. Like we go camping every year together, right? We roll into the fucking campground looking like white trash Game of Thrones. Right? Last year, 
I got the worst case of poison ivy I've ever had in my life. Okay? And every man here knows that if you get poison ivy, like, on your hands. <laughs> It ends up like uh, in your sister-in-law's mouth. Get the fuck out of here. You guys have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your show. Give it up for your host, Greg.